<laughs> That'll be right, it'll, it'll die in the worst spot for me. <laughs> Come on, quickly get up the hill. G'day everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Now this video here is all about the big T7 and about fuel range. Now I've always wanted to find out how far I can actually get on one whole tank on this bike. I've never actually ran it dry to see how far I can fully get. Now obviously a fuel tank on a motorbike, the gauge, it's not an exact science. This bike especially, if you've got a Tenere you're probably aware of it, but this fuel light seems to come on super super early. I've already done 75 kilometers on the flash and fuel light. This is the furthest I've ever been. 70 was the furthest I'd gone before doing this test, but obviously it's it's the case of how long's a piece of string. Everyone rides different. If you're riding different conditions, it could be a different uh, different number that you get to in total kilometers traveled. But just a bit of background on what riding I did on this tank of fuel. Uh, the other day I went on a full day ride and got home with this uh, fuel light on 70 kilometers and I did 80 kilometers off-road and the rest of that, about another 250, was uh, on-road. So we'll tally it up when it runs out and we'll see what total I got. Uh, yeah, I just really want to see how far I can actually get on this thing. So if we ever do some outback trips on the big Tenere, it'll help me out planning fuel stops and if they ever get in trouble and uh, need to push a bit further to get some more fuel I'll be confident that I can make it. wouldn't recommend doing this to your bike if you don't need to. You don't really want to get any crap in your fuel system. Don't know what's in your fuel, what's down the bottom that might suck in so definitely don't recommend doing it if you don't need to but I really want to test this out see how far we'll get. So I've got the old trusty fuel bladder on the back so when I do run out I do have some fuel with me to get home. <laughs> That would be a mistake. I'm just making my way out the back to some less busy roads. I don't really feel like taking this thing down the freeway and <laughs> running out of fuel in front of a truck or yeah, getting stuck on the freeway. So get off these busier roads and let's do some loops until this old girl gives it up. So I've just ticked over 80 kilometers on the fuel light. See how far we can get. If you guys want to jump down below into the comments, Leave a comment down there with a guess. Have a guess of what you think the kilometers will be of how far I've gone on the fuel light when I run out of fuel. I don't have anything to give you, but if you get it right, well, I guess you get bragging rights, eh? So whenever I've planned rides and trips away on the Tenere, I've always worked off a, a distance of 300 kilometers between fuel stops. It's usually a safe bet. So I'm already well over that, I'd be about three, close to 340 now total, so if you work on 300, it's a safe bet that you'll get there. It could be the 100 kilometers on the fuel line. Another seven more, and we'll get it. Here it comes. A <laughs> hundred. Wow. 100 kilometers on the fuel line. I did not expect that. This thing just runs forever. That'd be nice. No more fuel money. Running on air. Right, so turn around here again and go do another loop. <laughs> I thought I'd be well and truly over and out by now thing is surprising the heck out of me. Oh, she splattered. 103.4. Oh, I don't know if we'll get one. I don't know if we'll get 105 here. Up a gear. Oh, that might be it. Right, it'll, 
it'll die in the worst spot for me. <laughs> Come on, we can get up the hill. That's it. She's just given up. 106.7 on the fuel light. Roll down here and fill it back up, but man, that is surprising. I did not think it would go that far on the fuel light. That is crazy. 106.7 kilometers on the fuel light. So uh, I'll have to add that up on the phone and tell you the total kilometers. But uh, it's over 350, I know that much. So total distance is 364.7. So 365, you want to round that up? Man, that's pretty good off uh, what is a 16 litre tank. And when I filled this thing up, I filled it to the brim. So well, there you go. And now it's time to get this desert fox bladder off. Fill this thing back up so I can get home. Got four litres in this thing, so should be plenty to get me home. The fuel bladder that took me across the desert come in handy again. See if she'll fire up again. <laughs> Easy as that. So there you have it guys, 364.7 total kilometres off this 16 litre tank and 106.7 kilometres on the fuel light. It's pretty damn good for the T7. I'm very surprised at that, I did not think I'd get over 100 on the fuel light. Now that I've done that, moving into the future planning trips, I guess I can I can be confident in planning my fuel stops and know that I'm going to make it. You could even almost push it to 350 depending on the type of riding and what you're carrying stuff like that so obviously i've got no luggage on the back apart from that four liter fuel bladder but yeah that's the test done guys over and out time for me to head on home i'll definitely be going through the comments to see if any of you guys guessed correctly at 106.7 it's probably no one who's got exact but maybe someone went 106 we'll see what happens thanks as always for watching guys hope you enjoyed that one and uh hope that helps you out with your fuel range for your t7 be sure to give the video a like guys if you enjoyed it and uh, consider subscribing too so you don't miss out on any other future videos i got coming up. Thanks again guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Ride safe.